You know, after the 2020 election, I kind of decided that I wasn't going to vote Republican again. I basically was feeling like I was going to turn the Republicans into Whigs on my end, and hopefully much of the majority of society would do so as well. Um, I have always had that idea of things, if, you know, it seems like the Republican Party is using you, you know, you gotta turn them into wigs, or at least, um, uh, make that effort to do so to some of them, at least, and I still do believe that, but it's just like, you know, voting for Trump ha- actually had its benefits, you know, with the courts and things of that nature, so to me, it's like, at this point, I kind of feel like legislature and things of that nature you know, voting Republican is kind of helpful. I don't feel it's really important in my state. That's why in the midterms, I'm not going to vote at all. I don't vote Democrat, so if I don't vote Republican, I'm probably not going to vote at all. I just don't care to vote, you know. But, you know, honestly, um, I think after the whole overturning of Roe vs. Wade, this is going to encourage me to vote in national elections possibly when the candidates are eligible basically when I say eligible I mean they are actually truly pro-life you know and they're actually going to help with abortion basically if they're not going to help with that I don't need to be voting for them I don't care about them they're no different than a democrat to me so I mean, I kind of feel like this really opens it up for pro-life people to, you know, really rally behind our candidates that we support that are really, truly pro-life, you know. Now, I don't think, like I said, like in my state, I don't think there's a chance we'll get anybody who's pro-life. And even if we do, I mean, our Constitution has it where abortion is legal. So, I mean, like... It's really no concern of mine in my state, but in other people's states, I understand it now, and I understand it on a national level, because, I mean, like, partially, I kind of feel like, you know, it's not that bad of a thing to vote, at least nationally, it does have its benefits, and it seems like it has come through. Like I said before, Trump did come through on many of his campaign promises, just like Roe v. Wade, you know, (laughs) overturning it. But, yeah, that's all I have to say here. It's just like, uh, this whole thing of overturning Roe v. Wade has really helped me decide that, yeah, I'm not out of voting. I do have an interest in voting, and I'm probably still going to vote, you know, in the coming years, if not here in Nevada, possibly in other states that I will live in in the future, and for national elections and so forth. So, that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, Like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day. Bye!